Hey there, science enthusiasts. Did you know that some incredible creatures on our planet don't need to find a mate to reproduce? That's right, they can clone themselves. Let's dive into the fascinating world of asexual reproduction with five amazing examples. First up, the whiptail lizards. Picture this, a world where every lizard is female and they can all have babies without males. Some species, like the New Mexico whiptail, do exactly this through a process called parthenogenesis. Here, a female's eggs develop into embryos without fertilization. The result? Offspring that are perfect genetic clones of the mother. This allows them to thrive even when males are nowhere to be found. Talk about girl power. Next, let's take a look at starfish. Many species of starfish, like those in the Linkia genus, have a superpower known as fragmentation. If a part of the starfish, say an arm, breaks off, it can regenerate into a completely new starfish. This means they can recover from injuries or predation and keep on thriving. In some cases, just a single arm is enough to grow a whole new starfish. Imagine if humans could do that. Moving on to aphids. These tiny sap-sucking insects are masters of rapid reproduction. During favorable conditions, female aphids reproduce through parthenogenesis, giving birth to live young without mating. These offspring are clones of the mother, leading to explosive population growth. This allows aphids to quickly exploit food sources and dominate their environment. Impressive, right? Now let's talk about the microscopic world of bedeloid rotifers. These tiny aquatic animals have been reproducing asexually for tens of millions of years. They use parthenogenesis exclusively, with unfertilized eggs developing into new individuals. Despite the lack of genetic mixing, bedeloid rotifers have survived, thrived and diversified over eons. It's like they have cracked the code of life itself. Last but not least, the mighty Komodo dragon. The largest living lizard species has a trick up its sleeve called facultative parthenogenesis. In the absence of males, female Komodo dragons can produce viable offspring all on their own. Interestingly, the offspring are usually male due to their unique way of determining sex. This ability is crucial for survival, especially on the scattered islands they inhabit. Nature always finds a way. So there you have it. Five incredible creatures that have mastered the art of cloning themselves. From whiptail lizards to Komodo dragons, the world of asexual reproduction is as fascinating as it is diverse. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing science content. Catch you next time.